In this city, the bug and with the wall, and I did not expect to see it fall in my lifetime. The short film, because I had heard about an amazing story of a village accommodating refugees and inviting them to stay there and live there. The utopia in front of my eyes. What is your message to the people who want non-violence in this world? What are the first steps to make? Well, I guess non-violence starts with yourself, of course, that's very obvious. It starts with your inner sense of harmony and peace. But then I think what is really very important is that we learn to engage, that we don't just remain, um, how can I say, uh, not affected by what we see, but that we, we find ways to effectively respond. And there are many organizations, Amnesty International, Greenpeace, oh, you know, Oxfam. I'm supporting many organizations and working with them, and we can all do that. You don't have to be someone famous or a celebrity. Everybody has something to offer. And let, let's do that. Let's not feel that we can't do anything. Let's get on board and get passionate about changing things positively. Thank you very much. And we would like to invite you to the World March for Peace and Nonviolence to come with us to Punta de Vacas in Argentina in 2010, January the 2nd, where right. the World March will well, end. Well, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks. much. Bye-bye.